welcome to a very special episode of Gadgets and Gizmo Show. I'm Siddharth Sharma and why do I say this is a special episode? Take a look. As India celebrates its 67th year of independence, on this episode we take a look back at some of the technologies, gadgets and gizmos that have wooed India since independence. Now think about it, how far we've come when it comes to our gadgets. It's the year 2014 and we as Indians are entering an exciting phase when it comes to technology. Over the past 67 years, we've seen many technologies, gadgets and gizmos that were just dear to our hearts. So let's take a look at 67 most innovative gadgets and gizmos. These were a must-have in offices and homes for decades. But the use of the rotary telephones declined rapidly with the betterment and penetration of telecommunication. The typewriter was once an instrument of choice for offices and professional writers. But by the end of 1980s, those annoying little things called computers displaced the age-old tool, marking the end of an era. If you really want to feel a warm glow of nostalgia, then let's talk about the radiogram. These furniture pieces had record players and radios built in and were capable of producing beautiful, intricate sounds and reaching volumes that would have brought the police to your home. Their popularity swept India throughout the 1950s and for a time were considered more valuable than televisions. Following their development in 1954, radio transistors became the most popular electronic communication device in history, with billions manufactured worldwide during the 1960s. The pocket size sparked a change in popular music listening habits, allowing people to listen to music anywhere they went. Introduced in 1959 by Xerox, when the photocopy machine landed in India replacing documents, replicating documents became so efficient that everyone was in love with this machine. This gizmo is still one of the best things that has happened to humans. And in India, we do love this gadget. And most of all, many people make a living on this machine. To listen to music, this was the record that you had to buy. They were big, circular and difficult to preserve. But there was nothing better than listening to music on a vinyl record during the 60s and the 70s. Between the early 1970s and the late 90s, the audio cassette market, but with the advent of CDs, the compact cassette died a slow death, making your favourite mixes would never be the same again. After hearing the radio and television came to India, everybody was in awe of this technology. From box black and white TVs to color TVs, to today's ultra-modern 4K television, this gadget is loved by all. Remember these bad boys? People could finally watch movies at home whenever they wanted. The age of blockbusters, was born thanks to the VHS that soon found its way into every home. Once a must-have accessory, today the pager is as dead as a dodo. This tiny device was used for sending short messages and was quite popular for a while, especially with Indian businessmen and working professionals. The birth of portable music, the Walkman meant that you could listen to music on the go. It also meant that many Indian teenagers at the time kept it plunged into their ears and rarely heard anything outside of them. If you grew in the 70s and owned this portable music system, then you were probably the coolest kid on the block. Unfortunately, boomboxes today have become defunct with the advent of devices like the MP3 player, portable speakers and iPods. 
It was a huge leap forward from the analog world as digital watches were the watches to have in the late 1970s. This was the most desirable gizmo and everyone wanted a digital watch on their wrist. Talking about getting pictures instantaneously, Polaroid cameras were the right on the money. They captured memories in an instant and gave you a print of it within minutes. Back in the 70s, 80s and 90s, this was the camera to have. It was the closest thing to sending an email at the time. Fax was the telephonic transmission of scanned printed materials like texts or pictures to a printer or other output device connected to a telephone number. Many offices and rural areas in India still send and receive faxes. Before this invention was implemented on smartphones, tablets and computers, the physical calculator was the saviour of every Indian student and proved that maths did not have to be a laborious task. The moped was undoubtedly a revolution for India. With bicycle-like pedals to start the motor, this form of transportation was just uber cool in the 70s and the 80s in India. Still popular today, this amazing puzzle toy has become a symbol of intelligence and provides more intellectual simulation than a Game Boy. There have been many versions that came after, but the original Rubik's Cube is still the most popular toy today. The camera that gave birth to home movies. These portable cameras were so popular that they changed the way people record their memories and greatest moments. With pictures taking a backseat in the world of capturing memories. After typewriters, when computers made their way into our lives, hearing a page print was music to the ears. Be it the ribbon printer back in the 80s and 90s or inkjet, it is one gadget that we can't live without. Making a shave was never the same after electric shavers made its way into India. This was one uber cool way to shave that stubble off. Men in the 80s were in love with it. Every homemaker wanted it in the 1980s. The blender was a status symbol in its own way, making the job easier for homemakers to mix spices. Need we say more? You all know what this game is all about. Pac-Man is a game that you really can't get enough of. Children and adults alike would sit glued to their personal computers playing Pac-Man because till date you can't get enough of it. To make documents digital, scanners were one of the gadgets that was widely used by many. There were many versions to it from huge clunky ones to portable ones. Scanners were loved by many in the office space. When the television was not enough, the consumer moved to projection technology, trying to get the cinema feel right into their living rooms. Every school kid in India had one of these, and many still do. The ballpoint pen was one great innovation that for the first time ever allowed a free moving ball on an ink tip thus creating an effortlessly simple writing tool which has become the most used pen to date. A special mention to the Maruti 800 on the Gadgets and Gizmo show. This was a car that revolutionized the Indian automotive industry. When the 800 made its debut in the 1983, there was a lottery to buy this car. Maruti discontinued the car in the first decade of the 21st century but even when you see one on the road today, it definitely makes you smile. Ah, the floppy disk. A pioneer among external storage devices. Today, it's used as a coaster. With a storage capacity of 1.44 MB, 
one can say that we have come a long way. Before the days of MP3 players, the iPod and Spotify, we relied on compact discs and the Discman to get us through those boring days at the office or at school. And when it came to the 90s, you weren't considered relevant without a Sony Discman attached to the hip. MP3 players came into existence to counter iPod. They had less memory than the iPod to store your songs. But then it was economical and consumers who couldn't afford an iPod went for these. A very long time ago our phones used to be attached to the wall by a cable and for some unknown reason it would probably be in the most inconvenient part of the house. But then came along the cordless phone, one of the gadget innovations in the field of telecommunications. Now you could walk around in the house chatting away from one room to the next and if your reception was good enough, even the balcony wasn't spared. The all-in-one PC would not be what it is today without the iMac G3. Apple's underappreciated desktops served as a gateway to one of the most popular operating systems, Mac OS X and became a pop culture staple among die-hard Apple conformists. The Nintendo Game Boy was the first successful portable gaming system and everyone from children to grandparents yearned for the 8-bit handheld throughout the 90s. Addictive titles like Tetris and Super Mario probably gave you many sleepless nights. The PS4 might be Sony's latest offering but the very first PlayStation was the system that made gaming mainstream and placed Sony atop of the console throne for over a decade. With a massive catalogue of over 3000 titles, Sony just wiped out the competition and our wallets too. We showcased some of the most amazing technologies, gadgets and gizmos that have wooed us for the past 67 years. But wait, there are some more left. The Indian people were introduced to 3D in 1998 with the release of Chota Chetan. But shortly after that, the technology fell out of favour. But now it's back and this time it's a very different beast. Forget about 3D films, we are talking about scanners, printers, state-of-the-art digital projects. 3D technology is revolutionising the way we view the world and it seems this time it is here to stay. The iPhone of the 90s, the Palm Pilot, was the most popular personal organizer for business people and allowed them to store all their contacts and data in one simple device. Not many people know they existed back then, but those who did had to have them. The digital camera meant that people no longer had to replace the film in their cameras or to get photos developed. These were bulky when they first came out and anyone who had them at home found their living rooms transformed into a home theatre with its own crowd. The DVD player for once and for all made the VHS format obsolete. Costing more than 50,000 rupees with a Pentium 3 processor on it, Pisario came in various colours and with inbuilt speakers running Windows 98. What a beauty that machine was. Nokia 3310 was one phone everyone was in love with. A phone that was bulletproof and gave you the option of group messaging was a revelation for all. 3310 was also famous for the most popular game ever on a mobile phone, Snake. God, we love that game. Arguably one of the best Windows operating system, Windows 95, was so much fun. With softwares like Paint and Solitaire, the personal computer was never the same. The personal computer just went mobile. When laptops came to India in the late 90s, computing became portable. They were expensive and were not as good as modern day ultrabooks. But you saw anyone with a laptop during those times and you just knew that the guy was a big shot. 
Well, these were life loggers in a digital format that could store phone numbers, work as calculators and could store notes for you and double up as an alarm clock. The first mainstream optical mouse earned its place on our list by eliminating one of the computer technology's most persuasive annoyances the accumulation of gunk inside mechanical mouse and that was the death of mechanical mouse now weren't these the best things to have along with your pc web cameras just changed the way we communicated and skype was something that everyone used to communicate long distances video calling was finally here in india thanks to the web camera Now when it came to gaming everyone has played this game just to make combinations of brick and score some points to make combinations of bricks and score some points was just too addictive and you could spend hours playing tetris and never get bored transmitting messages around the world from a handheld device and with privacy at the utmost priority blackberry revolutionized the instant messaging scenario in india Everyone had a BlackBerry and almost everyone was on the BlackBerry Messenger. The most loved BlackBerry device was the Curve. Who can forget the cacophony that the dial-up internet connection made whenever it was turned on? It was like music to one's ears. You know when it actually connected. Although it is useful in the rural areas, the dial-up modem is now altogether replaced by the faster, steadier broadband connection. When it came to social networking it all started in India with networking sites like Hi5 and Orkut built on the concept of Hotmail Messenger and Yahoo chat rooms these social networking websites were the building blocks of the modern Twitter and Facebook that we see today Every Indian student had to have one of these whether it was music spreadsheets or documents the flash drive has served as the optimum gateway to share and transfer personal data onto a personal computer at lightning fast speeds now talking about games counter strike is one game that brought all players together and asked them to compete with a lan based connection up to 30 people could play this game at the same time created by sandes the micro sd format was unveiled in 2005 in capacities ranging from 32 to 128 MB. Today the dime size portable memory card has expanded to 64 and 128 GB and can be found in cell phones, cameras and other small gadgets with big appetites for data. Another of Nokia's foray into slider form factor, the 7650 claim to fame was its built-in digital camera, Nokia's first in a phone. Though only capable of capturing images at a resolution of 640 by 480, when it was launched in the late 2002, the 7650 pioneered the idea of putting a camera in a mobile phone to the delight of many consumers. Goodbye long wires and cables. Hello wireless communication technology. Yes, we are of course talking about the mighty Bluetooth. Introduced in 2000, Bluetooth technology system replaced cables connecting many types of devices from mobile phones and headsets to heart monitors and medical equipment. They looked a bit ridiculous, but then they made everyone look like secret service agents. Bluetooth headsets were an easy way to take calls and the best part, your hands were free to multitask. Combi TV was this 14-inch television box that had inbuilt video CD player. And boy, wasn't this the best thing that happened to movie lovers? Wi-Fi is a local area wireless technology that allows electronic devices to exchange data or connect to the internet using radio waves. As we Indians relied on the World Wide Web for information, one name summed it all for us, and that was Google. A search engine genie that could answer all our questions. Google is something that we can't live without today. Android operating system based on Linux kernel 
which is developed by Google, was giving free operations and intuitiveness to the users on the smart devices. It is one of the most loved operating systems in India by users and names like Froyo, Jellybean, Eclair have become synonym to this operating system. Unveiled in 2007, the Amazon Kindle transformed digital book delivery from niche to mainstream. Its key innovation was built-in wireless that enabled users to access massive ebook store. iPod, a music player that killed the Walkman. Everyone wanted to grab one for themselves. The idea of thousands of songs in a small box that can be carried in the pocket was just beyond imagination. Hate it or love it, the iPhone is one gadget that will forever remain synonymous with the Indian generation. It was the device that turned Apple haters into believers and created the blueprint for the modern day smartphone. Nobody thought that there would be a device between a smartphone and your personal computer. But then Apple said, let's make a tablet. Hence the birth of the iPad. And ever since the iPad is one tablet that everyone wants in India. This camera gave a new meaning to wide-angle shots. The GoPro allowed people to record their wildest adventures and this camera can be attached anywhere and can be taken into any situation. The power of Twitter is huge. It has become a news wire for many in India. Now with a technology savvy Prime Minister who believes in the power of Twitter, well this had to be on the list. When the cable operator no longer had the power to control what you watch, set-top boxes gave you the freedom to choose the channels you like to watch. Hence the DTH box, one of the most loved gizmo in Indian homes. In India, we have just started with the concept of wearable technology. And don't we love those smart watches and the activity bands that are making waves these days? Logging our life activities would never be the same with this wearable technology in the offering. And that's about all the time that we have on this edition of Gadgets and Gizmos show. If you have any comments, queries or suggestions, tweet us at HLT Gizmos. You can also email us on htgg at arjstuck.com. We'll see you same time, same place next week. But for all the news and updates, keep watching Headlines Today.